Hi, I'm Laura and welcome back to the Tarot Genie where you receive intuitive insights from the tarot to your burning questions about business, career, creativity, finances, entrepreneurship, spirituality, politics, and more. Are you considering retiring? Well, if so, would you like to know what the tarot would advise you to, what you need to prepare for mentally, physically, and spiritually? Well, that's what we're going to address today. The reason this came up, I thought I would deal with this question this week, is because I was at a dinner party the other evening, actually last night, and at my daughter's in-laws. And the issue came up because the father is planning to retire shortly within the next month, I believe it is. So a lot of considerations come to mind when people think about retirement. Now for me, I will let you know, personally, I don't consider retirement, put it in here, retirement, an option for me. Now that does not mean I will not complete my current career, which I'm doing in the federal government. It does mean, however, that once I complete that particular career, I have a whole other career lined up. And I always will plan to be doing something meaningful and inspiring and something about which I have passion as long as I'm able. And in fact, there's a numerologist, her name is Gail Minogue, M-I-N-O-G-U-E, and she has a YouTube channel, you can look her up, Gail, G-A-I-L, Minogue, M-I-N-O-G-U-E. And she says retirement should not be an option, that when people actually retire, that can often bring upon an earlier death, earlier depression, etc. So I would like to address today, if you're thinking about retiring, what you need to consider. And along those lines, I don't have the books with me or with me right now, but there are a couple I'd like to recommend. One is by Laurie Beth Jones, and the name of the book is The Path. The Path, simple two words. And I think this can line up with someone or be relevant to someone who is thinking of retiring, completing a particular career, because it talks about developing your own mission, your own you know, really defining it, honing it in very well. And if you have a particular mission, a well thought out purpose in life, no matter what you're doing, even if you complete a career you've had for 30 or 40 years, if you are driven and fueled by that passion and that particular purpose and that path, then you are going to feel fulfilled no matter what the next step is. And you're going likely to be able to find other activities that line up with that. So The Path by Laurie Beth Jones. And another book I'd recommend, it's called Life, Your, Your Life on Purpose by Dan Millman. And Dan Millman is known for his book, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior and some other spiritual kind of novels. And what he covers in this particular book, he does kind of a shoot off or a variation of numerology, but basically what allows a person to do is identify you know, what their true purpose is, what their tr true strengths and weaknesses are, and how they need to go about what actions to take, what mindsets to adopt to be able to fulfill their purpose and to really feel that their life is on purpose no matter what they're doing, and to hopefully transcend their weaknesses and further strengthen and actualize their strengths. As always, I'm going to select three cards. What do you need to know mentally, physically, and spiritually? Let's set them down here. Okay, if you are thinking of retiring, quote unquote, what do you need to consider? First card, hmm, the moon reversed. The moon reversed. Now the moon is a major arcana. It's number 18 from the tarot deck. Today I selected it reverse. So this means this, its meaning is slightly varied. It's, it differs a little bit. And considering the question or this particular position is, if you are considering retiring, if you're thinking and planning on retiring in the near future, say the next six months, a year or so, or even a couple of years, what do you need to consider mentally? And what this comes to mind, the moon, when it's upright, is often associated with things that are buried in the subconscious or secrets or things that have not come out. And I think what the moon reverse is suggesting here is that it's advising you to really do everything you can to, to 
be who you truly are, to not hide anything anymore. It's time to just let any roles you may have had in the past that you've just assumed because you had to do it for your particular job or particular activities you were involved in, particular way of being. It's time now, the mindset, if you are thinking of completing a particular chapter in your life, especially career-wise or in the life purpose area, that you need to just let go of anything you've buried in the past, you know, maybe you've stuffed down, you want to be able to let loose. You want to truly activate who you are in this next chapter, in this next phase of your life. And I would say that's especially true for people who are quote unquote retiring. If they are in their mid to late fifties or sixties and beyond and often think, oh, you know, this is over. My life's, or my, the key portion of my life is over. Don't think that, let go. Uh, and, and start activating things that maybe you have buried in the past, things that you may have not active acted on. There are perhaps, you know, if you have, and like in my case, a love of classical guitar, but just kind of set it aside due to lack of time. Or if there's something that you had always an urge to do, whether it's to start a business or write a novel, et cetera, just let go of things you know that you've just kind of squashed down and buried in your subconscious and just start letting them loose. It's time to go upright and let them loose, let them out and start taking action. And action in the next card is reflected in physically, what actions should you take? What do you need to do? What do you need to consider if you are thinking of retiring or completing a particular chapter in your life? Interesting, the Empress, another major arcana reversed. Now it's interesting that we have two major arcana so far out of three cards, which suggests that this is a meaningful topic. It's a very important consideration when you are thinking of or considering completing a particular chapter in your life. And what this suggests to me, it's interesting, this reversed, I wouldn't have anticipated being reversed, but the Empress is someone when she's upright is a very giving, caring soul. She's relaxed, she's calm, she's confident. And one, what often people talk about and when they are thinking about retiring is they don't feel relaxed. I know I had a few colleagues a few years ago who've been in the government for many years and they had full, they were actually at full retirement where they could get the maximum benefits from the government. But they had all this concern, this angst about like all their entire identity was linked to this particular career path. And so they didn't feel, even though they were going to have pretty good retirement income being in the government and because of the longevity of their careers and the particular system they were under, they didn't feel abundant. They didn't feel this uh, sense of joy and nurturing uh, they were just they kind of just felt anxious they were just really focusing on and this is the way i selected it on you know what are they going to do every day how are they going to pass the time and i what i would say that the empress reversed is advising you to do is to turn deeply within take time to meditate take time to turn within and really get a clear a visualization, a clear picture, and a clear sensory, full sensory, full sensory, what's the word I'm looking for? Full sensory situation in your mind about how, you know, if you, when you finish this particular chapter in your life, what would the next phase look like and how, and in deeply instill this within yourself, it, get a very clear visualization, image in your mind of how you would like it to feel in terms of just being your best, of radiating warmth and love. Given that this is reverse, we're saying, look within yourself and find out, you know, what would that look like? You know, see yourself in a particular, maybe it's a new home or a new location, but something where you would feel deeply, you know, in a physical way, deeply, fulfilled and abundant and where you just 
the feel that things are flowing and everything's moving and that you feel that you're radiating life and you're radiating the best you that you can be. I think that's the first action step that the tarot is advising us with the Empress Reverse as far as physically, you know, what kind of things do you need to do? I say it's turn within, meditate, and focus on creating an ideal image of how you want your life to be in every way. And where do you want to be? How do you want to feel? You know, ideally, you want to have radiant health. Get that all clear in your mind, in your psyche, in your, but feeling it within your physical body. That's what I think the Empress Reverse is advising you to do. And finally, spiritually. Ah, I always love this card when it comes up. The Nine of Pentacles. Spiritually, if you are considering retiring, what do you need to consider? Well, with this, the nine, this young, or this woman who appears to be very wealthy in her vineyard, it's a lush vineyard, just overflowing with grapes. She's got a falcon on her arm, her left arm. She looks like she's just totally enjoying her leisure and feeling abundant and just feeling she's not lacking anything. And I think that the spiritual approach you should take when you are considering retiring is that you are building a beautiful new lifestyle, a new life, a new chapter in your life. And that it's going, you're going to enjoy it to the max. You want to have that spiritual approach. And that it's always helpful to have a picture of abundance and hopefully you've taken the necessary actions to physically create some abundance so that you won't have that angst or concern about finances. What this is suggesting to me is that you want to approach retirement as a, in a way, in a, re a reward, but not just a reward and where you're ending something, but moving into the next phase that's abundance and that's resplendent with beauty and more options. We have nine coins here. It just everything in this image exudes abundance. In conclusion, if you are considering retiring, as I would say, or entering a new chapter of your life, the mindset you should adopt is, you know, let go of any inhibitions you've had, of anything, restraints you've had on your, your whole way of being, you know, be who you truly are. Just start letting go of any fears associated with that and start releasing them. You want to activate who you truly are. If you've been holding, if you have been holding any of your, any part of yourself back and then physically, you know, take time to meditate and deeply instill how you want to be operating in the world. And in, especially in the sense of having a lavish abundance and feeling nurturing to yourself and to other people. This is a way to feel that this time is very rewarding. You want to physically inculcate a sense of reward and lavishness and nurturing as you go about planning retirement. And finally, the spiritual mindset or approach, the spiritual approach you can take is to see this as just a wonderful time, a wonderful opportunity, a wonderful new chapter where you maybe have some more leisure time. And that's something that you've been look for, looking forward to while at the same time you are contributing of yourself. You are being active in various ways. I hope that this has been helpful for you. If you have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, I will include a piece of music to underscore the theme and I will put in the notes the names of those two books and their authors. Until next time, illumine your mind, inspire your life with the tarot.